Yo, what's going on you guys? Drum Machine Addicts is back again with another highly requested tutorial and today we are showing you how to use the stereo to mono function in MPC 1.9.6. So for those of you who are not familiar, in a lot of old records from like the 70s and the 80s, a lot of soul groups or really a lot of bands in general had this thing they do where they pan, uh, say like the snare drum and all the percussion stuff, hard right or hard left, and then they have the rhythm track in the other direction so in one case maybe say with this track this isn't the case but hypothetically speaking like let's say this section right here or this part of the audio wave is the rhythm track and the other part is you know all the percussion stuff right so when you're using stereo to mono what you can actually do is separate these tracks into separate mono tracks so that you don't have to deal with the percussion and you can get all the rhythm stuff that you were looking for in the first place so to kind of demonstrate, this is what the song sounds like now. So it's a Black Ivory song. Pretty sure you've heard that sample before, probably from Q-Tip, right? So I'm gonna move the marker forward and play it from here. All right, don't wanna get hit with a copyright thing, so let's go further in. All right. So I imagine you guys hear that. All right, that's enough of that. So really it's simple from there. All right, all you have to do is hit stereo to mono and it says source left. So what that means is it's gonna take uh, the left part of the track, like this part up here and separate it from this part down here. So it's gonna take this part up here and we press do it. And this is what we have now. So now we have a mono track So notice uh, the percussion is a little less prevalent. You know, mono track sounds a lot different. But say if we wanted to go back and we wanted to get the other, we wanted to get the right side. Press stereo to mono again. Press right. Converts. This is what it sounds like now from the right being the source. So you can judge for yourself you and I. which one sounds better and which one you want to use to make your track. Or an even cooler function, let's say you want to just turn this into a mono file. You want to sample in mono like some of the old drum machines and you don't want to sample in stereo. Then you can just click sum. All right, and now that stereo track has combined both channels into a one channel audio track. sound cool right so yeah that's pretty much the gist of everything that's how you use stereo to mono in mpc 1.9 it's also how you take a piece of audio and manipulate it for sampling so it's a cool trick that you can use later on uh if you guys have any questions don't forget to hit us up at drum machine addicts at gmail.com also don't forget to tell a friend and tell a friend otherwise besides that we will see you all next week peace